Good morning, this is Lot 76 Cars at Brooklands again and today we've come to the London to Brighton Classic Run which this year is starting again at Brooklands. There's been some great cars to see. Hope you enjoy the video. And some of the cars are just entering already, getting ready for the event. Lovely MG Midget. Lovely MGB, nice colour. Nice Mark II Jag, that looks nice, old English white. Lovely, isn't it? Sounds oh, good. Fav favourite of mine, an Austin Healey Frog Eyed Sprite. What a lovely car. That's going to be a long old run to Brighton in that one, isn't it? Beautiful. And this is a stunning green Pagoda Mercedes SL. That's lovely as well, isn't it? Triumph GT6. And one for fans of the Saints. A Volvo P1800. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? Simon Templer would be after that one. Some cheeky Fiat 500s. One with a big pair of lips on the front. Looks lovely. And a key on the back. And I think she might be called Betty. Another Fiat 500. And another key on the back. Fantastic powder blue Triumph TR4. There's a bit of a traffic jam developing here. And, and a superb Alvis. 66 Elvis, that's lovely isn't it? A nice R107 SEC and we've got a lovely 1980 minivan. Lovely Escort Mark II with the square headlamps, looks it's like it's a 79 or an 80. Now this is unusual, next is a BMW 2002 but it's the Touring, it's the, the hatch version which was um, seldom seen. A Jaguar Mark II 3.8 lovely old English white car isn't it that looks nice a nice early MG midget and E what's that 67 and that is a beautiful beautiful Sirocco mark 1 this one's a GLS probably I guess a 79 lovely car what a beautiful so looking at the front of this car, you can see the sharp Jujero lines of the Sirocco. It's a beauty, isn't it? I really like the colour. Now, where would we all be without a brown Allegro? This one looks to be a 79. Appears to have the earlier grille. I'm no expert in Allegros. I'm sure that uh, those who are will, uh, will know. I'm sure it hasn't got the Quartic steering wheel, which the early cars had. But that sea of brownness, we're right back in the 1970s, folks, aren't we, with that one? Lovely. A lovely MG Midget, this one in Old English White. And there's a few of them here today. This is a lovely car, isn't it? A cute little Fiat 500. I'm not getting too close. There's, a, there's a, quite a big dog in the passenger seat of that one, which has got to be better than any uh, piranha alarm, hasn't it? A treat is this Chevy Bel Air Coupe and next to it sort of a bit overshadowed in terms of size anyway is an mga so one of the first 16 valve cars not the first i believe was these uh, triumph dolomites and this is a triumph dolomite sprint as you can see by the wheels some of those wheels are fitted on non-sprint cars but that's absolutely lovely they really knew how to do vinyl roofs back in the 70, 70s, didn't they? That's a lovely car. So Herbie's arrived today, but he's parked next to something probably even rarer. I think this is a Renault and not a Datsia. It's a Renault 12. I haven't seen one of these for years. It's a left-hand drive car, so it maybe it's come from France. We'll try and find out from the owner. I get the chance to speak to him. Lovely car. 
and it's uh, an imported car from the Netherlands I'm told lovely a bit more 70s brown is this beautiful bronze 1100L Escort it's a right hand drive so for a change it's an official UK car a lot of those have come in recently and been sort of created into uh, Mexico's and RS lookalikes but this one's plain old standard 1100L and looks all the better for it a nice Victor 101 Estate uh, also a D so I guess probably what a 66 as well that's lovely isn't it whole families are riding that one so um, perfect car for, for carrying people and uh, kids and animals about in super isn't it Actually badged as Datsun is this Nissan 260Z, which is a lovely early car, I think. Although in actual fact, just looking at it, I think it's probably a 74 maybe, I'll check. A Moggy Miner with the essential equipment today, a picnic basket. That looks good, doesn't it? I'm not sure if this is an original Harrier, but towards the back end of Escort Mark II production, they produced a limited run of, of sort of rally sport like RS's and normally they have side graphics on um, it's lacking those and the big lights at the front but it's a lovely lovely looking car I suspect it's packing a bit more power than it came out of the factory well it's got the Duratec it's got a, um, an ST engine a Ford ST engine so I suspect it's got a lot more power lovely can't resist another look at the front of that one. Oh, I want one of those. And a twin cam, or at least it's got the Lotus stripes on, Escort Mark One. That's lovely, isn't it? Now it's difficult to know where to look here. There's a couple of lovely XKs on the way down to Brighton. And next to Herbie a nice late stag has arrived I suspect when this lot hits the road the traffic jam on the way into Brighton is going to be epic isn't it but what a traffic jam to be in traffic jam of MGBs and in this case a couple of midgets So the Fiesta was launched back in 77, so this looks like it's maybe a 78, 79 car, and this is quite a rare one. Rarely do you see a Mark 1 Fiesta pre-facelift, and certainly not in that condition. Nice way to, uh, to get down to Brighton, I think. Spitfire just uh, on its way out of the parking. And a Fiat 595 R Bath, or I suspect it's not a 595, or maybe another Mark II Jag just making its way into the parking. Lovely colour, and that's a, a 3.4. And the root scoop are not left out here because we've got this Singer. And a brace of E type fixed head coupes. And in the background, we've got that lovely powder blue MGA. The dolly sprints on the move. Now this, I think, is a Thames Trader, isn't it? No, maybe it's not. But it's certainly uh, a Thames. We'll try and out from the, find out from the owner. And it's a lovely... A motorhome caravanette type conversion. That's lovely, that uh, pale yellow, isn't it? I haven't seen one of those for a while. That's special. And this is a lovely looking right hand drive, so I guess it's certainly a UK car, maybe 68, 69, Fiat 850 Special. That's beautiful, isn't it? Well, maybe just have a quick look inside the owner's very helpful he left the window open looks from the timing gear that it might have had some competition use and a lovely triumph tr7 looks like that's a 1980 nice color isn't it and a rover p5 in 
a British Racing Green. Maybe. Nice MGB. I'm in an MGB traffic jam again. What happened there? More cars arriving. Fiat 124 Coupe. Alpha Spider. Wow, that's a beauty, isn't it? Cam tailed one. MGB. An early, well, not that early, but it's sort of 73, 74. Uh, but this later rubber bumper car sort of caught my eye a little bit. This is um, really because of the colour, this lovely yellow. That's glorious, isn't it? Another lovely stag. Oh, that is nice, isn't it? Lovely colour. A 105E Anglia. I have to move, that sign's in the way, guys, so sorry about that. Healy 3000, what a Mark III. I'm doing this off the hoof, this has got to be what a Morris Oxford, I believe, and a Fintail Mercedes. That chugs along quite nicely, it's a 220S. And just coming in over the hill is a 190SL. Almost worth getting run over for that one. Lovely. Beautiful car. It's almost like a Mercedes event today, isn't it? It's a, a Pagoda SL. A 66. Now that's, now this is the way I would like to travel to Brighton. Look at that Bentley, lovely. That wouldn't be bad either, would it? Cars from every direction here. There's about three events going on here today, so uh, please bear with me. And here's the Mark 1 1100L that we saw static earlier, and it's on the move. Well, trying to move. Travelling back to the future is a beautiful DeLorean. This one sounds good. I think I saw this at the Jaguar Day a couple of weeks ago. It's a lovely looking car, isn't it? And my God, you must need ear defenders driving that one, I think. So all of the cars here today are going to make the trek between 54 and 57 miles down to Brighton. Uh, it's going to take them about an hour and an hour and a half. Uh, might take some of them a bit, a little bit longer than that. Uh, obviously thinking about some of the lower powered versions. But uh, let's see, let's take a walk around and see what we can see. So wave goodbye to some of the cars. That one's going with a bit of a bit of wheel spin. And another MG. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. I like it going for it. Here we go. Going for it is this Caterham. On start his orders. Not the fastest way to go to Brighton, but certainly, probably one of the most stylish. Lovely. Midget getting waved off. And now the 260Z ready to take the flag. Oh, he's going for it. And a Chevy Bel Air. Oh, lovely. And the Mark 1 Scirocco we saw a bit earlier. That's ready to take the flag as well. He's going for it. And the Daimler. That's lovely. Oh, that's a bit more serene, isn't it? I like that. Fiat 500. I might be taking a bit longer to get there on that one. Is the Escort Harriet. Go for it. And just coming into shot is this lovely Cobra. Oh, that ticks over nicely, doesn't it? He's going for it. 
a bit reluctant to go, but he's on his way now. And the kit cars entered today. Now this one's had to be warned about speeding. I can imagine. Fantastic Austin A35. A nice Capri. Oh, 280. Very nice. He's going to go for it a little bit. Just a bit. And the first of a couple of Triumph Stags ready to take the flag. He's going to go for it. Oh, a little bit. Oh, it sounds nice, doesn't it? And the second Stag ready to take the flag. Saab 900. Here we go. Travelling in style. An Aston Martin DB11. Oh. Is he going to go for the wheel spin? Is he going to go for it? Very gentle. Oh, that's classy, isn't it? And another Aston Martin, this time a beautiful, beautiful DBX. And an Italian John Mini. And a Metro takes the flag. Whoa, oh, go for it, guys. Alpha GTV, good to go to Brighton. Good luck, guys. TR4, ready to roll. AC Cobra replica. Now, don't ask me about this one. So, it's, I think, a kick car, maybe a Lola. XK120, would it be? Good luck. Go forward a bit. Bit more, bit more. Blackpool's finest takes the flag. Yeah, that's it. Good luck, guys. TVR Camera. And an 8889 XGS convertible. And from one extreme to another, we've got a lovely. Ford console. Oh. And here's a prefect with a great number plate, gas. Let's give it some gas, yeah? Good luck. And a lovely midget. And here we've got a JDM import. Now oh, there's a bit of bravery. And a beach buggy. A 67 beach buggy. Taking the flag. Now they come. Now they're coming thick and fast now. We've got a Rolls Royce Silver Spirit. I think. This will be making a relatively sedate getaway, I can imagine. Thank you. Nice Mazda MX-5, 2010 I think. Just ready to take the flag, Lotus XL, what an 86, something like that. That's lovely, That what a great looking car that is. Just approaching the flag, a bit keen this one. Yep. Another Jaguar XK, British Racing Green. See you later, guys. Oh, Mark II's ready to roll. He's missed the flag. Here we go, the flag's almost bigger than the car. He's, are you going to go for it? Mark to Jag. See what 6566. Lovely minivan. I'm going to try and TR4. Mercedes-Benz SLK, 
First generation. And I think this is probably a Bentley 8. Oh, the wheel spin there. And here's a lovely, lovely Alvis. Isn't that beautiful? It's in there somewhere. Bit of a traffic jam developing here, guys. A Mark one and a half E type Jaguar, I think. It's just going to purr away that one. No wheel spin there, guys. A Saab 93 from the GM period. Lovely three door car, this one. Smile for the cameras from the Jag. And another E type, this time a Series 1 fixed head coupe. An interesting way to get to Brighton. And a Ford Thames caravanette. Oh, that's lovely, that primrose yellow. Beautiful. And another MGB, nothing wrong with that tartan red one. So the stag boys and girls are in town. Lovely brown one. Back in the 70s for a minute there. That just purrs away, doesn't it? It's running well. And another lovely white, old English white, stag. Very refined getaway. It's quite an iconic shot, that just under Concord, isn't it? To have the start line for that last stag. Lovely. Porsche 964 911, 88, 89. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? 190 SL Merc. Keen to get started, I think. Almost missed the flag. Gets the flag now, and they're off. A brace of pagodas. Quite rightly, on a day like today, you're going to experience the sun. That's a two. Lovely, this is the second pagoda. I do like this green one. Why do people make green cars anymore? I'd buy one that looks like that. Now, I'm not sure when this one will arrive in Brighton. Bearing in mind it's uh, maybe going back to the future. But uh, I'm not sure whether his air conditioning is working. He's certainly taking advantage of uh, keeping the door open. Here we go. What a way to drive. Maybe not all the way with the door open, I hope. And a Morris Oxford. I suspect this is a Panther Lima rather than the later Callista. Built just around the corner from me, I think. A lovely little mini takes the flag. Good luck. And a Mustang. So you can drop the clutch on the way out. Ready to go? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Cheers, guys. A wedgie TVR. This is a Tamsin 280i. Lovely. Mercedes, later Mercedes SL. Very graceful. Just approaching the line is a Volkswagen T2, affectionately called Lottie. Good luck, Lottie. And a Porsche 944. Lovely. Nice car, that one. 
and here we've got an Escort Mark 3, Mark 4 RS Turbo. And Aston Martin V8 Vantage. Anglia 105A. Got the flags on. And approaching the line now, ready to take the flag, is a Mercedes-Benz SEC. Oh, that's smooth, isn't it? That's a 500, is it? Maybe. And another MGB Roadster. Nice mini lights on that one, aren't they? BMW E34 M5. Oh, that's lovely. And that lovely Primrose MGB we saw with the rubber bumpers is taking the flag as well. And an early-ish Morgan. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Nice. And a late Jaguar XJS. Okay, facelifted car. And here's this lovely singer. This one's keen. Keen to get to Brighton, might take them a bit longer, but uh, lovely white wall tyres on this one. It's what, 65, 66, maybe 66. Sounds good. Good luck, guys. And a Mark II Cavalier SRI 130. These are rare and very collectible these days. Sell them soon. Good luck, guys. Triumph Herald Vitesse. It's a Vitesse. The XK, lovely, and Simon Templar has arrived, or he's leaving in actual fact, in his P1800S. And here's the Alpha Zagato. He's got the rear window propped open. The rear window, rear window on these, it's not a hatchback, but it's for ventilation. Look at that, and a Healy. 3,000. That's Porsche 911. Triumph TR66, I think. And for a bit of a noisy old journey is this Citroen Diane. Not the fastest way to travel, but I'm sure very stylish. TVR. Is he going to give us a bit of wheel spin? Oh, a little bit. A little bit. Jensen Interceptor. You certainly wouldn't lose that one on the way. Let's have a look. And the drivers have got the full French Good luck, guys. And here's the aforementioned Mercedes S-Class ready to take the flag. Lovely, lovely Opel Manta. MGA AC Cobra replica very popular cars today I've seen a few of those here a Caterham 7 oh, that's a lovely colour scheme isn't it that blue and orange that really works not an awful lot of room for your luggage in the back. So, uh, pack lightly for this London to Brighton trip, I think. Another MGB. Again, popular. I suppose there's 10,000 left on UK roads, so we're going to see a few of them, aren't we? So next we've got two generations of Porsche, a 356 Speedster 
and it looks like an original car not a chisel one get a close-up on that one taking the flag won't we engine thumbs away and a mark one cavalier i think it's got the rat look either that or it needs some cure us from halfords big time you're gonna go for it no nope. very sedate now this jag is gonna make some noise this d-type i think bit camera shy I think that's neat petrol I can smell wow a real variation of cars here today here's the last generation of Toyota Celica lovely cars back in the day and ready to take the flag the man flaves, waves them away to bright Getting ready to take the flag, another Pagoda SL. Very elegant cars, aren't they? Be a nice way to travel to Brighton in one of those, wouldn't it? And the Ford Lotus contingent makes its way forward. And I think pretty much these three are going together a Mark 1 Cortina and here's the last one in the trio the Escort Twin Cam lovely just walking back through the we call it the paddock I don't know Porsche 911 and MX-5 waiting to line up to take the flag Ignore the fire engine in the way. I don't think that's going anywhere. And we've got a lovely X-plated Mini Cooper. Not yet ready to go, but I'm sure she'll soon be on the way. Fantastic Morgan. And a Mercedes contingent, a later SL, and an early SLK. Certainly the right weather for that car today, isn't it? and a very early Cavalier Mark II. Oh, that's very nice. An SRI. Good turnout of Morgans today. Oh, that looks just the same. This P5B just absolutely glides along, doesn't it? I should do, it's a three and a half litre V8, I suppose. A lovely, red 190 sl so this is a 59 sl the owners had this one for 35 years been to the nurburgring a couple of times and 140 miles to get here today and we'll just take a quick look inside that's beautiful another pagoda mercedes a 280 SL Auto. I'll try not to get run over whilst I'm recording this one running just so you can hear how it sounds. I absolutely love this colour. Wow, it just pops, doesn't it? Going all regal now is this lovely S plated, what, 78, 77 maybe, Silver Shadow. And next door to a beautiful Merc. Oh, somebody's going to shoot me in the comments. W113. Can't remember. I'm on the spot with this one. Help us out, guys. Looks good, though, doesn't it? And if you really want no frills, back to basic, soft top motoring, a Citroen Mahari. You can probably even hose it out at the end of the trip if you need to. Lovely. And we've got here an Opal GT in this burgundy red colour. That's a nice car, isn't it? So yes, it's a Crayford convertible Corsair. Not a cloak worthy of a closer look because I've never seen one before. So you've still got a fair bit of space in the back. And 
and it's quite an elegant looking car this for 68 67 registered car beautiful and we've got a Woolsey 610 this one maybe can't see it in camera it's in absolutely lovely condition really super car we'll try and get a look from another angle on that one I think it's worthy of it and from every angle the sticker proclaims in the back let's have a look at that one I bought wisely I bought a Woolsey I bet you did a lovely 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 mini moke just started selling these again as electrics but this is the original one originally designed for the army but really rejected it didn't really work in that application but what a lovely car those are people who are fans of the prisoner tv series a long time ago now will remember these as transport around the village based in port marion it's beautiful isn't it not really that much to go wrong on these it's it's relatively simple you recognize some of the mini switch gear the speedo the heaters heater controls glorious and a citroen traction avant we said that all wrong traction avant front wheel drive and a nice l what 72 lotus elan plus two if you want practicality pop-up lamps and it's still a lotus this is the one for you i guess and a lovely 68 renault caravel convertible oh this just screams 1960s doesn't it what an elegant elegant looking car and the interior looks pretty good as well doesn't it a few more cars leaving to go out there to take the flag lovely three-wheeler e-type jaguar mercedes what's that 250 probably and here we've got another primrose yellow jag what a color glorious car so a relatively early 74 75 probably i think porsche 964 lovely color and i'll just sort of focus in on those wheels those sort of row star wheels relatively small diameter but very pretty aren't they let's have a quick look around the back and pretty from any angle lovely five litre mustang and a beautiful mercedes w114 you maybe can't see this on camera but this car is in absolutely fantastic condition beautiful car lovely r107 sl with the mexican hat wheels that's a lovely car we'll try and get a look inside that one while we're waiting for a few more cars to leave lovely interior what a beautiful car an mgb but this unusual bay sort of sable type color i don't think i've seen one like that before it does look nice though doesn't it so thanks for joining me today on lot 76 cars at the london to brighton classic car run at brooklands we've had an absolutely fantastic day we see some great cars get away from here let's hope they all make it safely to madeira drive in brighton and thanks again and an absolutely superb venue and a superb event